Hey everybody, welcome back to my sewing channel. Today I'm going to be making a tall wallet out of vinyl, which is a textile that I haven't worked with in a long time, but I ordered some from Sew Hungry Hippie a while back and today I finally had enough time to squeeze out a project. So here she is in all of her glory. One super bright, shiny, iridescent, holographic, insert shiny word here, tall wallet. Enjoy. So I already have all of my pieces cut and ready to go here. You'll see that I have my lining, my main or outer, and then I have my zipper box cut out already. And I've gone ahead and marked on here where my um, magnetic snap goes. I have one lining panel and then I have the other and I've already attached my tag down here. I have my two snap tab pieces and one of them is this, the ID window box is where you get your second piece from. Um, my ID window backing fabric and then my ID window, the vinyl. And then this is the fabric that I'm going to use for my card slots. And I've mentioned it before, but I'll say it again. This is landscaping fabric. So it's just that black weed fabric that you put down before you mulch or anything else. I mean, honestly, I don't even really know when you put this down because the only time I've ever used landscaping fabric is to sew with, oddly enough. But it comes on a huge roll and you get a lot of it for very, very cheap. And it's nice because it's super flexible, but it's also very, very strong and it doesn't really stretch very much and um, it's very, very, very thin, so it works well for the card slots. All right, so to get started, the first thing I'm going to do is glue in my ID vinyl. And of course, I'm using Beacon Fabri-Tac as always. So I'm just gonna put glue around my window. window in there. Ta -da. I'm gonna put something on it to help it stick. Um, now I'm gonna prep my snap tab and get a magnetic snap in there. Let's see, probably should have pulled this out prior to filming. Whatever, stick with me. Use brass. Yeah, I think it'll match nicely. And so I got these handy, um, what do you call these things? Acrylic templates that I'm considering adding to my shop, which you could see. One of them. I haven't taken the paper off, obviously. Some of them I have, some of them I haven't, but here's the whole lot of them. This is the vinyl ID window, the ID backing, one of the snap tab options, um, and then the card panel A, card panel B, and we did them with lines in them so that you could mark your textile and it fits a pen in the hole. And then the outer body panel, with the zipper box and then the lining. And then I do have the accordion fold template, but because of the thickness of the acrylic, it doesn't work. It messes up with the, um, it, it adds an eighth of an inch to every fold. So I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board on that one. But other than that, they work really well. Normally I cut everything on my brother scanning cut and I did for the, um, card panels just so that I could get my nice lines here and that they were all even but for everything else it worked really great all right so I'm just installing my magnetic snap here and this vinyl is thinner and quite a bit more flexible than the cork is so I am going to interface behind this magnetic snap and I'm gonna use SF-808, which you could use whatever you wanted to. I just want something that's gonna give a little bit of stability. I think I'm actually gonna do one on each piece, just to give it that added 
weight. So I'm gonna glue this down. While I'm waiting for my glue to come up. I'm gonna fix my edges here because they're not very nice. There we go. This glue, I lost the cap to this glue and so it's got a big chunk of dried glue inside the nozzle. It's a real pain in the arse. There we go. Now I'm going to put some glue on this side as well and get this other piece of interfacing down. them together. There we go. Put something on that. Clean up a little bit of this mess that I've already made. All right, now I have to inset a zipper. Let's see, I don't know what color I should do. Stick with all gold. I think I'll do black just because the ID window backing is black. I think black and gold look really good. I'm a fan of the gaudy colors. I love gold. I've got it all over my house, gold lamps and such. Um, so yeah, I think gold and black will look good. So I'm just going to put some glue around here. So this is my first time working with this vinyl before, so you are seeing me learn as I go. So in some of the stuff, might, the way that I'm doing things might be confusing, it might not make sense, and that's because I am just learning, but yeah, I think I'll get there in the end. Seems pretty straightforward. Alright, so I'm going to pop over to my machine and I'm going to top stitch my magnetic snap together. Um, I'm going to top stitch my vinyl into my ID window, and I'm going to top stitch my zipper. So right now I have my Teflon foot on like I always do for when I'm sewing with cork and I have just Coates and Clark all-purpose thread and um, a Microtex needle size 14 and I'm using a stitch length of three and a half. easy. I will say that I noticed the vinyl does want to stretch just ever so slightly, but I think for all intents and purposes it looks good. The shiny is so pretty. All right, let's see how we do on this vinyl ID. Right, that was super simple. And while I'm over here and working on this panel, I'm gonna go ahead and sew that dummy stitch on the first line here. There we go. All right, zipper box.
right, so because my vinyl shifted just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and trim up my snap tab here so that all of my edges are nice and flush. to glue down if I can find where I put it oh, glue down my window back in here don't mind my dog he's playing with his toy back there This fabric has gold in it too, which is why I chose it. Right now I just need to trim my zipper. And then I will go ahead and install my other side of my snap while I'm here. Projectile vinyl. All right, so there is my outer panel. That's all ready to go. All right, so now I'm gonna work on my card holders. And so I'm going to do it this way. Um, this is not how the pattern says to do it, but since I have a pretty good handle on how to make this, I am going to go ahead and get all of my card slots into place, and then I'll go back and top stitch them at my machine in just a minute. And I'm just going to leave this one as is because this last one just gets glued up top and it'll get sewn down in the last step. So let's see, I'm going to go ahead and start laying my other side now since I'm over here.
And then after I sew the card slots down on this panel here, I'm going to cut off the excess and I'll attach this excess to over to this side to create that last card slot. So for now, I'm going to pop over to the machine and top stitch all of these card slots into place. <laughs> yep, sure did. Did that. That's what I get for being confident. I don't know where my seam ripper is. Of course, I've got like 70 million. I can never find them when I need them. So I um, missed the wrong or I folded up the wrong fold and so what I did is I sewed this card slot together so I'm just unpicking this which luckily I can just go right over the same line when I'm sewing the correct card slot um, and so the holes in the vinyl aren't gonna make a difference thankfully Easy peasy, peasy, just made that word up. Easy peasy. Since I'm over here and I need this excess, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this side off. So the side is done. All right, so now with my excess, I am going to just sew these together so that I can create that last card pocket.
All right, so I'm just going to trim this excess now. I just like to fold it back to give it a nice crease. There we go. And now I'm just going to glue all this together. threads here. hand in all that glue. Alrighty, so now I just need to top stitch down, there we go, top stitch down the insides of both my card slots. So I am sewing with this and treating this just like I would um, sewing with cork. And so what I'm going to do is just trim up all of my edges here, make sure that I don't have any overhang, make sure that everything is nice and flush. And if it isn't, I'm just going to trim it so that it is. I'm going to do this nice long edge here as well. So the next step is to attach the card slots to the lining. This vinyl is a little bit tacky on itself, which is actually kind of nice. Hopefully it won't move when I'm sewing it down. And I think that means that I can probably get away with not using a ton of glue. It 
does make it a little bit different though than the cork. This gold is kind of hard to look at because it's so reflective in the light. It's super bright. All my edges lined up nice. And now before I attach it to the back, I'm just going to get my magnetic snap in place here. So now with the glue, I'm just going to create that uh, coin pouch boundary box that's outlined in the pattern piece. As you can see, I'm very detail oriented, which I really am, but when it comes to glue, I'm just kind of a crazy lady. <clears throat> I'm going to clip these little edges real quick. that wherever I put the glue it kind of makes it looks like it gets condensation on the back of it which is really interesting I've never seen it do I've never seen a glue do that to a textile before it doesn't stay but I think it just has some sort of if you can see it some sort of um, chemical reaction to the vinyl I think it's kind of cool Okay, so now I'm just going to finish gluing. I would assume that vinyl acts the same way as cork. Um, if you leave it clipped for too long, I imagine that it holds the indentations. So, I'm gonna work quick here. All right, let's go top stitch. clip my little angle pieces here so I can't really see where I'm supposed to oh, turn. Just a little bit of an idea.
So since I'm over here, I'm just going to go ahead and stitch my um, coin boundary box. Investigate, see how this looks. Let me get all these threads snipped. All right, so it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna go around again and um, straighten out any sections that might have stretched a little bit, especially when these corners didn't stretch. I just, you saw, I forgot to cut them. So I just need to get them even. we go. All done. Let's throw some cards in there. There's just a couple that I have. Oh no, <laughs> I sewed that one together too and didn't catch it until just now. Oh, and that one too. Ha! I'll have to take it apart and fix it. But for now, we're just going to call it good. Either that or I'll probably, I'll just keep this one and make another one. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, Miss Confident. Alright, so let's get this bad boy folded up. There we go. One tall wallet in vinyl. Oh, it's already open. Coin pouch. It's still nice and thin, which is nice. I like that a lot. It's got a little bit more body than I expected. Overall, I think it's a super fun textile to use. Besides the fact that I sewed these two slots together, um, I would call that a win. So thanks so much for hanging with me today as I fumbled my way through working with vinyl. Um, I do think that the two sewn together card slots are the best part of the entire video. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Let me know what other products you want to see. I do have quite a bit of this vinyl left over. So let me know if there's anything else that you want to see me make out of it. Um, and other than that, be sure to hit the subscribe button, give me a like, and follow me on Instagram at Sonar. Join my Facebook sewing group. It's Sonar Sewing Patterns. I will link everything below. Um, the pattern for this, the tall wallet, is available in my shop, and I will also link that down below. And uh, that's about it. Happy sewing!